Hey, it's Lisa Last here, and you'll be excited to know that I spent big bucks on a new video stabilizer arm so I can take better non-shaky videos. Trouble is, I've spent the last hour trying to figure out how to work it, and because technology and me don't like one another, I'm shooting this video the good old-fashioned way. So if any of you guys have the smooth video stabilizer and you want to come over and teach me how it works, I'll buy you some lunch. So today I wanted to talk about hiring a real estate agent. So um, I would say probably 25 to 35% of my clients do not like the real estate agent they have used in a transaction. And I am super not okay with that. Um, the real estate agent that you hire, whether you're selling or whether you're buying, should be a super highly qualified person that you get along great with uh, and has similar hours to what's uh, needed for your schedule. Um, I don't understand why people continue to buy homes through their old boss's ex-wife's sister. Uh, I mean, it's noble. When you're looking for a real estate agent, it's nice to have a referral, but really at the end of the day, you should be hiring this person just like you'd be hiring your right-hand man or woman at work. You, you should be looking at history. You should be looking at experience. You should be looking at personality matching. You should be looking at accreditations. How many homes do they buy and sell? Do you have a good fit personality wise? Um, if you want to see houses every Sunday morning, but every Sunday morning they sing in the church choir, that's not going to work. Second thing that we're going to talk about today is how realtors get paid. So when you're buying a home, you don't pay a realtor. When you're selling a home, you typically pay 7% on the first hundred grand, so $7,000 and 3% thereafter. So if you sell a $300,000 house, your real estate commission is going to be approximately, um, $13,000. So when you pay your real estate agent $13,000, keep in mind you're not paying them $13,000. You're paying them half of $13,000 cuz the other half is going to the other realtor cuz they split it. Then of that $6,500, your realtor just like you needs to pay income tax. So let's take 30% off the top of the $6,500. What we have left over is for them to pay office expenses. Realty fees, conveyancing, licensing, gas, um, listing on MLS, sign, cleaners, videographers, photographers, um, industry association fees. I mean, there's probably so many more things that I'm forgetting on there. So next time you think that a real estate agent makes a fortune, they certainly have their moments where they make really good money because they don't work very hard on a file. Maybe they double end it, person sees one house and buys it. Maybe it's an easy deal. But I can promise you that 99% of the time, um, realtors work really hard um, for what's left out of that $6,500. So if you ever have any questions about realtors, give me a shout, 780-951-1434. Thanks.